So the Planetary Defense Conference, we hold them every two years, and it brings together people who are in fields that don't necessarily overlap. So there are astronomers, asteroid experts, planetary scientists, shock physics modelers like me. There are people who worry about deflection strategies. There's emergency management people. We all come to talk about the threat of asteroids, the possibility that an asteroid will hit the Earth, and if one is discovered on a collision course, what to do about it. I study what happens when you try to push an asteroid off course to stop it from hitting the Earth. So I used the computer codes that we have at Los Alamos to study kinetic impactors. So if you take a large piece of metal and slam it into an asteroid at very high speed, you make a crater. That throws material off of the uh, asteroid and pushes the bulk of the asteroid in the other direction. Very slowly and gently over years, you can nudge something off course and make it miss the Earth. Well, risk from asteroids is impact. Uh, if one is on a collision course and it collides with the Earth, it could actually be anywhere from scientifically interesting to damaging, to very destructive, to globally catastrophic. The headline is that the small asteroid will impact over New York City in 10 days. This is what it looks like. So it's, it's actually worse than Tunguska. Uh, because it comes down at a steeper angle. The globally catastrophic event is very, very unlikely. But the dangerous ones, one that, ones that can hurt people, can happen several times a century. And we had one only six years ago in 2013 over central Russia, the one that exploded over Chelyabinsk. The scientific community is thinking of various ways that you might prevent an asteroid or a comet from hitting the Earth. That depends whether you need to push it off course or whether you actually need to destroy it and disperse the fragments. Things that we're looking at are kinetic impactors. We're looking at a standoff burst by a nuclear explosive device, which of course is something that Los Alamos has a lot of expertise in studying. We can't glue the San Andreas Fault shut. We can't turn a hurricane back out to sea yet. But this is something where we have the technology here and now. Yeah, it needs some development, but we have all of the basics ready to go, ready to be put together. And we're working together as a global scientific community and bringing all of our best ideas. And yes, we really can do this. Mm -hmm.